In this video, I'll show you how to bind the WPF pivot grid to data using the server mode, which is designed for large data sets. I've already got an application here with a pivot grid control. Let's create data context. Click the smart tag and choose the item source wizard. Select Entity Framework as the technology and click the New Data Source button. Click OK. Enter a model name, End Win Data Context, and click Add. Select Code First from the database model and click Next. Create a new connection. Select Microsoft SQL Server and click Continue. I've already created a local connection, so I use the local SQL Server and select Northwind Database. Now, go ahead and choose the invoices table. Select the salesperson view. Click Finish and rebuild the project. Open the item source configuration wizard again and select the newly created data source. Then, select server-side data processing to bind it using the server mode technology. Click Next and Finish. Now let's add some fields. Click the Pivot Grid Smart tag again. Add one field to the data area and two fields both to the column area and row area to create a report. Let's customize the fields. Click the Data Field Smart tag. In the menu, Click the Field Name Property button and select the Extended Price as a field name. Clear the field's caption to retrieve it automatically. And I'll specify the other fields in the same manner. Set the first row field name as Category Name and the second as Product Name. Then specify the first column field's name as Country and the second as Salesperson. And when you run the app, you'll see that our pivot grid is populated with data using the server mode technology. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.